Hello and welcome to this project management whiteboard and today we're going to talk about the project triangle. You see behind me a triangle with three corners. We have scope which refers to all the deliverables, the products which we're going to deliver from our project. Cost which refers to the budget, the money that we require, all the other resources that might be materials, uh, equipment, uh, buildings, and time. In other words, the project has a fixed end date and a start date, so there'll be a schedule. So these three elements are the three primary constraints which every project faces. And it's important to recognise that on every project at least one of these sides is fixed. So for example, uh, many projects are fixed by cost. Examples of those projects are lottery funded projects, so those projects are given a grant by the lottery fund and no matter what happens the project must deliver within that budget. Some projects, projects are fixed by time. For example all the London 2012 Olympic projects they had a certain date by which they must deliver and no matter what happened those projects could not deliver late. Now it's very useful therefore to understand which side of your triangle on your project is fixed at the beginning of your project when you are setting out your project plan. Whichever sides of the triangle are flexible, therefore, and not fixed, it means that you can look at the flexible sides to recover a problem with the side which is fixed. For example, if your time-fixed project is going to be delayed, so there's delays in the work, then you could look at the other two sides to, to help you recover the situation. One possibility is to increase the cost by employing more people to do the work and therefore complete all the remaining work on time. Another, perhaps more extreme option, is to reduce the scope of the work. So if you do less work, therefore, uh, that can be done in less time and therefore, hopefully, you can deliver on time. Now then, if time and cost were unlimited, on projects, which of course they aren't, we wouldn't need to worry about our project triangle. And in fact, on such projects, we wouldn't even need to worry about project management. Now then, you'll see there's a fourth element here in the centre of a triangle, quality. Quality refers to the quality of the work or the quality of the products or the deliverables which we are creating on our projects and handing over to our customer or client or user at the end of the project. It's important to understand that the quality of these deliverables is a result of the three constraints. So, for example, when you're planning and if you are trying to do the work in a short period of time, then there's less chance of being able to deliver a high quality product. There's an alternative way of viewing the project triangle. So instead of having the three, side, three corners as I've marked here, which is scope, cost and time, you might consider replacing those with good, cheap, and quick. Okay? And some people say that on a project, it's only realistic to aim to achieve two of those three things. So pick any two of good, cheap, and fast, and what do you get? Well, you can deliver, let's take these two, you can deliver a product or deliverable, which is of good quality, and it's possible to do that cheaply. However, it's not also possible to do it quickly. It's possible that you could deliver a high quality product fast, quickly, but not cheaply at the same time. Also, the third combination here is it's possible to deliver something quickly and cheaply, but it's probably not gonna be very good. So that's an alternative way of looking at the project triangle, picking any two of these three factors and therefore setting your objectives accordingly. So that's all for this week's project triangle, uh, project management whiteboard. I hope you've enjoyed it and it would be nice to hear from your projects and to uh, understand whether or not your projects were fixed, one of the sides were fixed, and whether or not an understanding of the project triangle helped you navigate your way through your project. So please send me your comments and thoughts about this and hopefully I'll see you on the next Project Management Whiteboard. Okay, bye-bye.